Hi darlings and welcome back to Pastor Smash, new makeup edition. So here on Pastor Smash, we talk about new makeup releases, primarily indie brand launches, and we decide if we want to pass as in <laughs> bye bitch or smash add to cart. So I missed last week. We were all sick. It's been a thing. I had double eye infections and you know, it's just kind of been one of those times. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Liz and Pretty much every week, we try to go through new makeup releases, uh, mostly indie brand launches, and I kind of break it down and decide if I want it or if I don't, and try to pick it apart so that I buy less. And sometimes I talk myself into it, but I try to buy less. Um, and I've been doing okay. But let's talk about the new makeup releases, shall we? So I am gonna use my iPad today um, because there's a lot and um, yeah, I need that extra assist. So, Dee Dee Signature has a new collection here. They also have a new category. So, um, this is the Sweet Aesthetics Collection. It features a, let's see, how many pans are there? 14? Nope. There's a 12 pan all matte palette. Now, Dee Dee Signature mattes are really good. They are really good. So, this is an all matte, kind of a pastel rainbow kind of a palette there. Um, so we have this, so the um, palette there is $28, super affordable, 12 matte. I think it's really pretty. I probably will not buy this. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadows in my collection. I probably don't need that palette, but I do appreciate the tones that they picked. And I really do like Dee Dee Signature, their, um, their matte formula. Actually, I like both of their formulas, but matte specifically are really nice. Um, so that's there. That does retail for $28. And then with this collection as well, they also released, how many colors are, are there? Seven? Seven colors of their um, um, primer bases. Now these are $9.99 each. And these are like a cream like base that you would put on to get more pop. So if you wear uh, pastels and you want like that true pastel color, you can use a white base on your eyelid instead of like a... Instead of an eye primer, you could use one of these tinted bases to kind of get more of, of a look that you're going for. Um, I have not tried these. I am curious about them. So for the palette as a whole, I'm going to say pass. But for the bases, I'm going to say smash because I'm curious about them. I wonder how these compare to the About Face um, eye paints that I like. So I am curious about those. There's also like a rainbow here. Here's a picture of it. This is a rainbow uh, multi-use eyeshadow. I've seen a lot of people using this as a highlighter, and I think that that is really pretty. That is, um, let's see, how much is that particular rainbow one? It looks like that rainbow is gonna be $14.99. For me, this is gonna be a pass. Uh, I used to have one by Chaos Beauty, I think it was, um, or the original like rainbow kind of highlighter. And while they're pretty and while they're fun, Unless you use the right brush or you get your finger just right, I just feel like it's kind of a pain. Um, but I do like the look that you can create with them. It is super pretty, um, but I'm going to say pass to that. So really, I'm just kind of interested in the base. But that's the Sweet Aesthetics Collection. Um, and I, as always, I will put in any information that I can find for you, as well as any codes uh, in the description box. They're probably not going to be my codes. I only have, like, two codes. So... <laughs> Um, I don't know if Lethal Cosmetics, if we talked about this before, um, I don't know if we talked about this. So Lethal Cosmetics released, they already released it, their, um, uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender collection. This, co they came up with so much. Oh, I can't believe it has been this long since we've done Passer Smash. It feels like a long time. So... They came up with, now they, with The Last Airbender, they did a collab with The Last Airbender. If you're not familiar, it's an anime turned mediocre movie, now turned mediocre live action series. Uh, it is a great show. Um, but ColourPop did a collab with this a while ago, and we were all just kind of like, ugh, why? This is a collab we would have wanted. Like, they done did the damn thing. So there are four eyeshadow palettes here. So you have, uh, for the Water Nation, you have this nine pan blues and like kind of silver colors. 
Um, you have a nine pin that Earth for Earth, uh, the Earth Nation, the greens that they picked. <laughs> mm, they're so pretty there. For the Fire Nation, obviously you have lots of reds and some browns and that, that beautiful like charcoal black kind of color. And then for the Air Nation, I, I'm i glad that they put a yellow in this. Um, I kind of would have liked to have seen blue when it lights up, but they this is kind of like the more neutral, the Air Nation, like the Air Nation there, it's, it's more neutral. Um, or is it Kingdom? Is it Fire Kingdom? So, well, damn it. Now I'm going to have to go look it up. It's been a long time, some time since I've watched it. But anyway, they released four palettes, one for each. And then uh, those uh, eyeshadow, those nine pans are, um, I believe they're $28 each. All right, see what else? No, they're $29 each. Sorry, I was looking it up. Um, now with this collection, they also released eyeliner sets here. So you have the Katara eyeliner set. Um, you have the Toff eyeliner set, Zuko and Aang, and then you can get like the eyeliner bundle there. Each of these um, sets comes with a matte, like a Fire Nation is like a deep burgundy. Um, there is a brown, there is a uh, deep blue, which is really, the blue one that honestly is the prettiest to me. Um, and that's like the um, Katara one. But uh, actually, the no, scratch that, that multi-chrome green, so pretty. Um, but anyway, there are four eyeliner sets here. Now, the eyeliner sets retail for $19 each. It does come with two. There's a matte, and then there's a multi-chrome. Honestly, if I didn't have so many already, I would 100% jump on these. And if these are still around in like six months, when I have to declutter my liquid liners that I got from Adept, then I will probably snag the Earth, at the very least the Earth one. Um, those are $19 a piece and there's also a bundle available for them. Now, they also released a White Lotus a highlighter here. I'm not as interested in the highlighter. It's pretty, but it's kind of, you know, white base looking. It's not really, it's okay. Um, but that is there. I do like the packaging though. I do like the packaging. Now, there are also three lipsticks. These are all like a, a reds, like different color reds. Here, those are $15 a piece. Um, the best part of this collection, in my opinion, is the Appa makeup bag. That is so fucking cute. That is adorable. Um, it sold out almost immediately, but it was on pre-order, so FYI. There's that. Um, there is the My Cabbages makeup sponge, which is a very nice touch to this. That's there. Um, and then there's the Soka uh, glitter gel here, which is a topper. It's you tap it on, um, and the glitter gel is twenty one dollars. Uh, smash, so cute. Um, I think they did an excellent job with this collection. I would be happy to have any of this in my collection. When I had the opportunity to buy it, I ended up not buying any of it, um, but it doesn't mean I wouldn't. In a perfect world, I would buy them all, and I would play with them all. I just kind of recognize I'm at a point right now where I can't play with everything, and my original plan was to buy the whole collection and just suck it up and put it on my credit card, but you know what? I just opted not to, but I think it is really pretty, um, but we're going to say Smash. Now, I think this is going to be in stock for a little while. Um, I'm not sure how long, uh, but... They did a really good job. They put the work in on it. Lethal did the damn thing. I'm just saying. Okay. Sinful Echo. Sinful Echoes has a new collection here. This is the Lotus Bloom collection from Sinful Echoes. Now, if you remember, they um, had one previous launch, and then they had a launch of singles. Well, this collection has a new category for them, as well as a new palette and um, new singles. So there are four new singles here. These are hollow multi-chrome singles. There are four of them. They retail for $15 each, very pretty. They do come in the round pans now, so they did change from using a square pan to using a round pan. So that might make certain people mad, but this is only their, their sophomore launch of a palette. So we have to give them a little grace, right? They're still growing and trying to figure out what works for them. So. They have switched to uh, round pants now for this launch, um, and I'm sh I'm sure it's more it's less expensive to produce a round pan, and they probably ship better than the square pants. So that's there. 
Now those are $15 each, very pretty. Then you have the Immortal Gel Eyeliners. Now we've seen gel eyeliners from a lot of different brands, so I'm kind of curious about this formula. Lethal Cosmetics, their gel liners are probably my favorite. Um, they're probably my favorite out there. But this, these are here. I love the colors that they picked. That periwinkle blue, that's fire. Uh, and that al the one called Alchemy that has like that like acid color green. Anytime that makes an appearance, I'm just down for it. So those are there. Those retail for fourteen dollars each. And um, then there's the eyeshadow palette here. Now, this is the Lotus Bloom eyeshadow palette here, and you have these really pretty blues these really pretty purples, like that pop of like kind of a, like an eggplant kind of purple. And then the, the shadows that go with it, there are eight mattes and there are four shimmers. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna say smash. I'm most curious about the gel liners. I do have one of their, I wonder if the formula is the same. So I do have their uh, first launch and uh, I'm curious if the formula is the same or if the mattes are the same. Um, I would say out of their first launch, maybe six out of eight of the mattes were good. Two of them were kind of finicky or didn't quite build up the way I wanted them to. Shimmers were absolutely stunning. So I'm curious to see how this is. I'm going to say smash. The palette does retail for $45 for 12 shades. It's an indie palette. That's kind of how it goes. Um, but I'm going to say smash. I would like to put it on my eyelids. So, okay. Let's see what else we got going here. There's just, God, the swatches of that one look really good. There's the swatches. Okay, let's see, who are we forgetting? So Nomad Cosmetics here has a sneak peek of their upcoming palette. Now the guessing game for this is gonna be starting soon. Um, yeah, so I am excited. It's giving me Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico like vibes. So we're gonna find out, that's my guess. Guessing game starts soon. It'll probably, um, actually, the guessing game will probably have started by the time this goes live. So, can't wait to see it. Now, let's see who else. Um, Electric uh, Electrum Cosmetics has a new palette coming. So, uh, this right here is called the Midnight Moth Palette. Um, so, there are, let's see how many, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 pans, and it looks like it's six mattes and six shimmers here. I feel like this is what I wanted out of the Give Me Glow launch. Um, they're, they're mo what are the lun mo Lunar Moth, Moth in the Moon? Not Moth in the Moon. The last Give Me Glow launch. I feel like that palette and this, actually, let me grab that palette because I bet these similarly like side by side are really similar. Hold on. Like the new Electrum palette is kind of what I wanted from Mystical Garden, right? Do you see the similarities? Like swap this for a burgundy, swap like one of the blues out. I don't know. It's kind of giving the same vibe. So, oh, excuse me. So anyway, that palette is there. Now the shimmer is really good. Let Here's the deal. I've never tried Electrum Cosmetics. I have heard very hit and miss things about their customer service, about the wait times. Um, and that's why I've never bought anything from them previously. I was really interested in like the evil, is it evil mermaid or like the mystic witch? Like they have definitely like a celestial witchy aesthetic and I love that. But this palette here, I bought it. It is a pre-order so I normally really hate pre-orders. Um, like I, I really hate, I really hate long pre-orders. I normally would never, but it got me. The vibe is there. Now there are no codes for um, Electrum Cosmetics. I did comment and ask because I hadn't seen any anywhere. They don't do codes, um, but I, I did buy the pre-order. So this will ship to me end of July. It's a long pre-order. It's about an eight week pre-order, which is a long time. Uh, even, you know, I, like I said, I understand why that would be appealing to an indie brand. I just, I just don't like it. I feel like you shouldn't launch it unless it's ready, you know? Um, but I'm gonna say Smash because I already bought it. So yeah, but it's really pretty. 
in my defense. I'm really curious about the formula. I will do a video and we'll find out, right? We'll find out. Um, by the way, that pre-order is available. Um, it, they are going to close the pre-order. So at the time of filming, it was open, but they are going to close it um, for production. So I'm not, I don't know if it'll come back later. I'm sure it will. Uh, it seems to be that things make the rounds that way. Um, but yeah, smash. Okay, so Diver Room Cosmetics released a new collection as well. So this is the Dew Drop collection. Now, if you look there, um, I think we talked about everything in this collection last time we did Pass or Smash, except for the palette. That had not been revealed yet. I was thinking that maybe it would be a highlighter palette, and I'm not, I'm, I'm only half wrong. It is a six pan all shimmer palette here. Um, the palette is a $59. Those are all duo and multi-chrome shifty shades. Um, no mats. So that is there. Um, yeah. Um, very sparkly. Very pretty. Now, these are kind of too sparkly for my taste to use as, um, to use as like a cheek like highlighter. It's not the kind of formula that I like for that. There are different finishes. There's some that are a little bit sparklier and then there are some that are like a little bit more sheer, but no, um, I wouldn't use this for a highlighter palette, but it does come also, there are um, loose multi-chromes. Those are $15 a piece. There are the dewdrop gems and the gems, like the little gems, I was at least I was right about that. Those are $4 a piece as, um, and there's different colors available. So you can get the entire collection for $115. The gems I will eventually buy, I think, um, but the rest of it, I'm actually gonna say pass. Um, I really like what Diver Room Cosmetics has done so far, but I don't need an all shimmer palette. It's rare that I would use an all shimmer palette and I just don't feel like I would get my money's worth out of it. So $59 is basically $10 a shade. There's only six shades. Uh, for me, it's not worth it, but if you like an all shimmer palette, then maybe this is worth it for you. Um, but for me, I'm going to say pass. Okay. That's a new set of highlighters. This is the Fruit Salad Reblended Collection here. And um, these are all like shifty, colorful, sparkly highlighter shades. Um, these have already launched. Um, yep, these launched on May 21st. Um, so the fruit collection is live. There are, um, nine new stained glass shades as well. Um, I, while I think these are pretty, I'm just kind of at this point where I don't really, um, I don't really want to wear that kind of a highlighter. Right now I've been vibing with like, I'm not wearing anything right now. That's just, I put moisturizer on, but I'm, I really like a natural glow. These are very sparkly. They are really pretty. Let me go. The bundle of the highlighters was available for $148, or these are available for about $19.30 a piece. Honestly, like the cutest one for me, I think the, maybe the quench one that looks like a dragon fruit. That one I think is really pretty. Um, maybe the yellow fruit lighter would be pretty. I didn't think shipping was gonna be like $20 from Canada. I would probably try it. I don't really need any though but I do think they're cute, but I'm going to say pass because I don't, I don't need, I don't, I don't need any of it, but I do like some of it. We talked about Glam Lights thing, um, their Fresh Prince of Bel-Air collection. We talked about that last time, but, um, now they've actually announced that they are collabing. They haven't shown it yet. Not really. But they are collabing with uh, Halloween 2, the movie Halloween 2. So I would I would think that this would be their Halloween launch. But, you know, you never know. They released Freddy and Jason, what, like in the middle of February. So who knows with Glamlight. But um, they are collabing <laughs> with the movie Halloween. So we're going to see some uh, fun Mike Myers content. It looks like they have pretty much, like, run the gambit of of horror movie and well, plot. That's not true. We haven't seen a Hellraiser collection from them yet. Or like Wishmaster. Oh my God, I cannot. Um, but anyway, they're clubbing with Halloween too. It, 
It does look like there's going to be a fun mirror, like a Mike Myers mirror. That would be uh, pretty cool. Oh my God. Can you imagine if they got Jamie Lee Curtis to like do their promo? Oh my God. That would be epic. Um, I don't know what this collection is going to be yet. I, I don't know. Here's a sneak peek of the Mike Myers uh, mirror from, I stole that as a screen grab from their promo videos. It doesn't seem like they put a lot of like still shots on their Instagram anymore. So it's kind of hard to steal the information, but um, yeah, we'll, well, I guess we'll see. So speaking of horror movies, well, this isn't a horror movie. It's just a movie in general, but The Crow, um, we talked about pretty much everything in that collection except for the palette. So here is the color story of the palette. They did have a pre-order available for this. I know the first, like the launch sold out almost immediately. I think it sold out in like eight minutes. And that's why I didn't bring it up last, uh, last Pass or Smash because it really just wasn't available. But it looks like they've opened up a pre-order. The first pre-order sold out. They did order 500 more units as a second pre-order um, for the collection as well. So if you wanted that, it would be something to look at. Here's a color story here. You have grays and reds. I like those deep colors. It's very much a literal, uh, like a literal adaptation of the color story from the movie. Uh, for me, that's a pass. I don't really need it. Um, but I think it's awesome that Wicked Widow managed to secure the rights to it. And it's pretty cool. Uh, but for me, it's a pass. I don't, I don't really need to do, I don't need all that, you know? Like, it's not a color story that's really appealing to me right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to say, we're going to say pass on that. All right, let's go to trend mood. Let's see if there's anything that I missed that I wanted to talk about. Oh, Mac has a new launch. Interesting. This feels like rainbow washing, honestly. Um, who are they donating to? So this is the Mac Viva Glam collection. It's $150. You have this rainbow. It's literally rainbow shaped um, rainbow palette here. And um, it's 40 different shades. So if you like MAC shadows, that would be for you. Um, it also comes with, what are those? Oh, is that the case? Oh, that rainbow case is really fun though. All right, it says 100% uh, of this palette's price goes to support MAC Viva Glam. So what is Mac Viva Glam? Let's go to their website and find out. Mac Viva Glam's mission is of supporting LGBTQIA+. Uh, my best friend and I just call it the queer community, but uh, I know everybody has opinions on the Alphabet Mafia. Uh, we call it the Alphabet Mafia or the queer community, but um, equality and a better future for all. What the fuck does that even mean? We're going to their website. I need to do those things because I hate rainbow washing. I think that it's disrespectful. And if you're not going to donate, it's kind of like that Danessa Myricks palette, right? I find that to be disrespectful. And maybe that's just me. But um, just selling rainbow themed things for the sake of selling rainbow themed things to like, as, a, as, a, as like a cash grab, especially when the money is not going to communities that are you know, meant to support the queer community as a whole or like counseling or creating inclusive spaces. And, you know, like it's just one of those things. Anyway, we're going to have to look more into it. I can't get it to load. It is going slow as hell because I'm not paying for that super high speed internet. I'm not going to lie to you. So anyway, We'll see. I'm kind of curious about this. It says that these are some of their best selling pride shades of all time. Um, I do like the puffer jacketness. If this is going to go towards, I, I like that 100% of it is going towards their charity. Um, I would like to know how that charity, how it fosters inclusiveness, like what it actually goes for. It's going to require some further research, but. I'm gonna say pass. I'm not gonna buy this. Uh, I am curious, do you like MAC eyeshadows? I've been using indie shadows for so long now that I kind of feel like going back to other type things, it's really hit and miss for me. So I'm gonna say pass on this, but 
if it's truly inclusive, it's truly what it's supposed to be, then I am glad to see it. Okay, so let's move on. Um, Blend Bunny Cosmetics has put a lot of things on clearance. They have a new sale tab and the Machina palette was down to 16, I think it was 16 pounds. Hold on, let's look. Um, they put a bunch of stuff on sale. So if you were wanting to pick up some Blend Money Cosmetics, but you weren't like 100% sure what, um, like you don't want to pay full price, basically, I got you. Oh, Profusion has a new collab with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The nostalgia is hitting hard, friends. They are really coming for our wallets with these uh, these collabs. So there is the handheld mirror that looks like a turtle shell. That one is $9. There is an ooze illuminating jelly uh, set. It says, get a shell looking glow that will leave you feeling totally rad. Uh, that there is $11. There's a lash set, that one's $14. Um, and they're colorful lashes. Honestly, the lashes are like the most appealing looking thing here. They're kind of like that flare shape that I like. And then the ends have colors. I do like the look of those. And then there's a 24 pin palette here, that's $20. Honestly, this is adorable. Now I know Perfusion has like, I just think this is adorable. I like that the jellies, like the oozing jelly thing, not sure what all that actually is, if that's a lip thing or or if that's a, uh, a highlighter, but I love that it comes in like a radioactive canister. Very cute. The colors are exactly what I would expect from this. You have the colors for Donatello, for Michelangelo, for Raphael and Leonardo. You have the colors for them. You have various greens because they are turtles and they are green, um, including like kind of like that radioactive kind of green. I do think that's really fun. Um, the, the mirror looks cheap, but I think that's adorable. We're gonna say smash to that. Smash. Um, okay, uh, Flower Nose has a new collection, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds savage and I, I really like a lot of the sea beauty that I've tried, but there's this thing, it's all basic, like really basic, not really fun, super neutral, like, you know, just saying. Okay. Um, I do want to mention the Natasha Denona gold collection that came out here it is available now. This is the gold din collection. I should say here. Now the palette here, um, it's their midi size palette. I think the packaging is beautiful. A lot of these shades are reused. So apparently six of these shades are reused from previous Natasha Denona palettes, okay? So if you have all of them, you probably have six of these shades. If you don't have them, then you won't care because you don't have them. Um, now I do think it's pretty, I think it lacks the originality and I think it lacks the depth of the previous gold collection. Um, now this is a golden collection, not to be confused with the gold palette. I love this midi format that they've been doing. I think it's my favorite format that Natasha Denona has come out with, including like the Yucca palette. Mm, that is, that's a great palette. Some of the other ones, meh, but like the Yucca palette, that's fire. But this golden collection, if you really like golden neutrals, this palette is perfect for you. Now there's also a highlighter trio. Um, and then there's also a, like a gloss, like a golden gloss. Overall, I think it's pretty, but it's going to be a pass from me. If anything, it's the packaging that I'm just like, ah, bitch. Now I find their shadows to be very hit and miss for me. It really depends palette to palette. From what I've seen, people like this um, in terms of formulation. So, uh, but it lacks the originality of the original gold palette. Like I like the pop of color in the gold palette. I don't love that this is just neutrals and just golds. Uh, so it's gonna be a pass for me. Now that's available now. It looks like the palette is $69, which is very on par for midi pricing. That's been their pricing for a while. Uh, the Hybrid Glow Palette, which is that three shimmer palette there, or the three highlighter palette, that is $55. And then 
The Lip Plumper Shimmering Gloss is $29 in this economy. Uh huh. I think no. Um, so one last thing I want to mention is Davini Beauty is um, hinting at a new collection. So it looks like this is going to be like current C. It's hinting that a sailor fell in love with, well, a mermaid fell in love with a sailor and then they were going to run off together. She showed them the sacred treasure. And then this, there's a whole story to this that um, I'm sure that somebody is really interested in, but me feeling the way I feel, I'm just not. So, but um, it says it's coming soon. So we'll see what this palette looks like. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's a palette. Um, their Ascension palette looked so beautiful and I would still get that palette. The only reason I hesitated is because of the, the glitter inside, but she chose that for her child that had passed, so. Um, I like I get it, but like we'll see. It's coming soon. So my darlings, that's it. I feel like that's enough. There are more launches that I just like there's bronzing products, there's miscellaneous lip products. Elf released another lip product again. Like it's just let's keep it to the interesting stuff. Tell me what you want to see in the next pass or smash if there's anything in particular that catches your eye. And uh thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. If you made it this far, will you leave me a sunshine emoji? Because it's been like 100 degrees every day. And frankly, it's just too damn hot. Uh, but love your faces. Thanks for being here. And I will catch you on the next Passport Smash. Bye.